Hey, and welcome back to the channel. This summer, we're tackling our biggest project yet, which is a massive road construction project. We're taking the entire top of this hill and sending it down to the bottom to try to fix this grade once and for all. We have a CAT 330 excavator on the scene with a rock hammer that we can't wait to start using, but before we use that, we've got to get some equipment repaired. If you saw in the last episode, the skid steer currently has a broken hydraulic line. The excavator keeps overheating, so let's get to it. Is this like you broke it so you fix it, Tyler? Pretty much. Theoretically now, the whole, oh, that's crazy. There we go. Well, what do you see, Tyler? Bunch of fluid. It's one of these two lines right here. Success. Well, here's the damage. It was just this guard that the hose rubbed on long enough that it eventually broke. So it's not really that we did anything wrong, it was just bad timing. The hydraulic shop is closed today, so we're gonna have to wait for tomorrow, get a new hose made, and the skids will be back in action. Well, end of the day means time to fuel up the equipment. I have a feeling we're gonna be buying a lot of fuel this summer. All right, welcome back. Hopefully this hose works, we can get the skid steer repaired and back together and get back to work. I also found some of these cool hydraulic hose guards that zip tie over the hose to help protect it from chafing because the only reason we had this failure was that the hose rubbed on the frame of the skid steer long enough until it rubbed a hole in it. So this should solve that issue once and for all. It's going in there. Good. Good. Are you filming me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. We came to check on you guys. How's it going? I just think I'm supposed to ask you that. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're almost done. I had no idea that the cab did that. Thank goodness it did, how else would you do this? I know, that's the first thought I had when I saw that is how are we gonna get to that? I thought we had to lift the whole machine off the ground, but nope, the cab flips, pretty cool. And my pressure washing would be easy too. Yep, you want a little hike? Yeah, we were getting a little stir crazy, so we went on a walk. Wanna say hi? Oh, a little snoozer. Well, glad that job's over with. I think we're repaired. Time to get it back together and see if it works now. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. I only spilled like a little tiny bit. All right, time to see if that fixed the problem. business. Awesome. Thanks for the help, Tyler. Yeah. We still have the problem of the hydraulic system on the Hitachi overheating, but I think that that's just going to have to wait because we've got the 330 on site and the weekly rental rate of this thing is pretty high. We can't afford the downtime to try to fix the Hitachi. So we can use it for a few hours at a time, then it's got to cool down, but we're going to get back on the project and get the 330 back to work. Today is finally the day that I've been waiting for. It's hammer time. So easy. With tool hooked on, the next step is to turn off the thumb and hook up the hydraulic lines from the hammer to the machine so that the high flow hydraulics of this machine can power the hammer. I've never done this, but the guy that delivered the machine described what I'm supposed to do, so wish me luck.
I now know why I own such a big crescent wrench. It's not big enough. <laughs> My giant crescent wrench isn't actually big enough. I am getting so excited. I think that the first thing we're gonna tackle is the big rock, my nemesis. The rock that you saw me hanging from straps from a mini excavator trying to jackhammer it out. I think that it's gonna be no match to this hammer, but let's find out. Okay guys, here we go. Hammering for the first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're breaking the boulder. And we're breaking it, the entire rock. It's totally working. We are gonna be able to break this rock. This has been sort of the crux of this entire project has been how to get through the rocks on this hill and now we have the real solution. I think the key is like, you have to figure out where it's kind of naturally breaking. totally working. That rock is getting blown out of there. Oh my gosh. It sort of feels like we found the key to unlocking this project, which is the ability to actually move these rocks because they're in the way. Holy smokes. I'm not gonna lie, from sitting up in the machine, it was less impressive than I was imagining in my mind. But now that I'm down here and I see the size of the rocks that I just pulled out of here, it's pretty amazing. And, and these rocks were so hard that with our mini excavator, there was no way I was pulling them out. So when I look back and realize that I've been doing this for what, 10, 15 minutes, and this is how much progress I've been able to make, that's pretty incredible. I think this hammer is gonna make a huge difference on this project. I think that we're gonna start here at the top and the goal is gonna to be to dig the top down and push this dirt to the bottom. We're probably gonna use the dozer for most of the pushing and slot doze it down the hill. But before we can start digging, I know that there are some rocks in here that are going to need to get hammered out. So I'm gonna uncover those, start digging around those. Once we get these rocks out of here, then we can bring the dozer in and start pushing the dirt. I'm also just really curious if this excavator is able to move this rock. Let's find out. No, that is solid. We're gonna need the rock hammer for that. Demolition five days is finally over and it's time to enter the construction phase. We're actually gonna start by pulling this top layer of topsoil off and throwing it down into the road. That way it's gonna end up as our bottom layer of fill where all the little roots and stuff won't matter. And then we're gonna get as much of the rocky material out of this area behind me and put that on top. I'm gonna start at the bottom in the cat. Tyler's gonna be here at the top in the Hitachi and we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle.
starting down here at the bottom, this is all going to get fill. We're actually going to end up about 10 feet higher right in front of the excavator than the existing road surface. That means we're going to have to have a bank on the downhill side, which is going to consume about 10 feet. So the entire road needs to shift uphill in order for this to work. I could spend all night in that machine. I am having so much fun and making so much progress. But I think we better feed Tyler and I'd like to spend some time with Oliver and Courtney. So we'll be back on this project tomorrow. See you then. Maybe I spoke a little too soon about uh, seeing you tomorrow. I came around the turn and Tyler's made a gigantic mess over here. I mean, he's doing exactly what we need to have done, but uh, there's no way for us to get out of here. He blocked the road. Pretty big rock too. Mosquitoes are relentless. There's this pond right here that we've been working next to. And uh, yeah, the mosquitoes are terrible once it gets later into the evening. I guess we're about to find out how extreme terrain of a vehicle the Argo really is. We didn't film the important shot. Now we have to back up and do it again. <laughs> but now there's tracks. Uber's here. Now, we'll see you tomorrow. When I was going over this machine and doing all the maintenance on it a few episodes ago, I noticed that there was a problem with this track carrier roller right here. <laughs> this side of it is worn almost all the way through to the bearing. Meanwhile, this side of it looks fairly normal, which means that this roller isn't turning. It's just sort of the track is just sort of sliding over it. The fear is that if that were to wear through all the way to the bearing, I think there would be nothing keeping that roller together anymore. The whole thing would fall apart and we'd have a big problem on our hands. They are somewhat rebuildable, but it made more sense in this case just to buy an entire new roller assembly. The parts are here, so let's get started. Bigger than that. <laughs> Everything on this is big. Squint for safety. Tyler, working harder, not smarter. Wait, no. Smarter, not harder. That was easy. So now we've got room to get that roller out. <laughs> the hard part is just gonna be lifting it. That thing weighs a lot. 97 pounds to be exact. What's your bet? Is it seized? Definitely. We're gonna try to hit this thing out with a hammer, but not feeling very hopeful. It's actually moving. We have bald eagles above us learning how to fly. It's two adult bald eagles and two juvenile bald eagles, and they're just sort of spinning circles around with each other and making a lot of noise at us. So cool. I don't know how we're getting this thing in. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> I don't really fit. I, I can't. It doesn't bend that way? I don't know. 
<laughs> it doesn't go backwards. What is, what's the likelihood this thing goes for a tumble? Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Done. That actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. And finally, in an effort to avoid last year's fiasco of having to put the track back on this machine, I'm gonna add a little track tension. Welcome to the mess. By the end of the day, we're hoping to have the entire new route roughed in, so we'll have a much better idea of what we're dealing with. Almost connected the dots from where Tyler started at the top and I started at the bottom, so let's get to it. Woo, hot in here. Let's get the AC on. Here we go. That didn't last long. So it might just seem like I have no plan, and that's partially true. I don't really have a plan other than dig dirt downhill and try to get our route established where we want to be. Welcome to Making a Mess with Riley. We're getting into some much harder rock now. This is like the kind of rock that our mini excavator and our dozer even just doesn't touch. And even though we have a rock hammer for this thing, I'm able to just work right through it, which is awesome because that's way faster than having to switch back and forth between the bucket and the hammer. <laughs> just breaking it out. Look at that. That whole rock just came out. feels so sketchy. Look at the road behind me. Like, these boulders are huge. I'm pumped on the material that's coming out of this hill. I wasn't really sure exactly what to expect, but we're able to break this rock up and it's gonna make awesome road fill. What day is it, Oliver? What? That's right. It's dozer day. I kind of feel like this is the moment that I've been waiting for all year.
We have thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of yards of material to pull out of the top of the hill and take to the bottom. But with our route established, I'm feeling pretty confident that this plan is gonna work. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more videos headed your way of content just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, we got a fire. Fire. This is a bad idea.